The All-Star Game in Montreal this year, a Canadiens fan came up to me and said, because of Milan Lucic, I hate the Boston Bruins again. <laughs> well, uh, I guess uh, it's kind of... I you kind of take it as a compliment that you uh, you know that you make an impact like that. Look at Lucic and Larac again having another chat at the faceoff circle here. He had to swallow his pride that night, and I say swallow big time. And uh, I think uh, you know I earned a lot of respect from that night because it, not only did he have to swallow his pride, it was happening in Montreal, and uh, you know. But the bottom line is he he listened. Uh, he scored a big goal to get us back in the game, and eventually we won the game. And uh, you know, uh, still to this day, I, I'm sure he would have loved to, to have at least answered the call. It was really tough, you know, just because of, uh, you know, just because of your pride. You know, you want to st stand up for yourself. You don't like uh, being embarrassed like that. Woo! Let's go, Bruins! Lucic! Woo! A few years ago, no one could have imagined Milan Lucic would have this kind of an impact on Montreal or even popularity in Boston. Even Pat Quinn, who co-owns his junior team, the Vancouver Giants, didn't see this happening so quickly. Here's a young man, when you watch him as the little, the, as not little, he's not little at all, but as the ugly duckling, you know, slow and, and, uh, and uh, ponderous to start with, and then you see him moving along and moving along, and then... As I said, I, uh, you, you're away for a little bit, you come back and you see, holy, look at how, how he's come along, you know, and he's uh, understanding his position, his skating's better, and uh, he still had that strength about him as far as the physical play, he loved to do that. Skating was a big issue, that was always, uh, that was always a big thing everyone was always saying, and, you know, I think I, you know, when Pat Quinn was saying, you know, he didn't really think I was going to make it to the NHL. I think that was a big reason why, and I think that's another reason why I really wasn't on any, anybody's radar, even not only in the NHL, even the WHL, I wasn't on anyone's radar because, uh, you know, my skating was an issue. I had just been hired by the Bruins, uh, you know, late June, and uh, in July we had our, our young players come in for those summer development camps, and... Uh, you know, I, I noticed a big guy out there who maybe his skating wasn't necessarily, I'm going to use the word, elegant. And, uh, but from the blue line in, he was going in on goaltenders. He had a quick wrist shot going goals. Uh, he, he had good size. He seemed strong in the puck. And even in those battle drills, seemed to be pretty dominant. And uh, I was kind of curious to see how he would do in in the major camp, you know, with the with the big boys, he just kept getting better and better, and uh, I guess the rest is history. The Bruins got a steal with the 50th overall pick in 2006, as some teams still questioned whether or not his skating would be good enough. Any doubt was erased on the opening shift of the 2007 Memorial Cup Final. That opening shift of the Memorial Cup game here in Vancouver. Uh, was probably the most impressive shift, the uh, starting shift I ever saw in all my days. He come out, the puck dropped, he, uh, they got dumped into the opposition zone, he pounded a guy there, went across the other side of the ice, he threw a big check there, pounded a guy, uh, he grabbed the, the puck, uh, got a scoring chance off that turnover, um, and then someone wanted to, to dust him up a little bit, and he handled that uh, as uh, easily as, as you could imagine. Milan Lucic throwing that six foot three inch, 220 pound frame all over the ice. He set the tone of the game, and I have every reason to believe that that tone get kept going all game long. It's one of the reasons Vancouver won the cup that year. Have you ever watched it on video on YouTube or anything like that? Yeah, I, uh, you know, I saw it a couple times, you know, sometimes I'll uh, turn it on before a game or something just to, ah. you know, get me pumped up. I have heard that your only weakness is Guitar Hero, that you think <laughs> you're good, but you're not. Who, who said I wasn't good? I can't tell you, anonymous source. Oh, I'm pretty good. I mean, I can play. I mean, I can play at the expert level. I can't play all the songs because they get pretty tough. If someone had told you that you would have made the Bruins as a rookie and had such a huge impact on them in two seasons, you would have said what? Uh, I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't really have believed him. I didn't think uh, you know coming in, I would make that much of an impact. So. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's great that I'm able to contribute the way I can and uh, it's just me going out there playing my game and, and uh, 
yeah, I guess uh, I would have proven myself wrong more than anything.